For those who aren't familiar with your journey to the NHL, just what did you have to go through and how many times were you passed over before you finally got the opportunity that you earned really full time this year? Yeah, um, yeah, my journey's been uh, it's been quite a long one to get here. Um, you know, I'm not the youngest uh, first year guy on the team, so um, yeah, I uh, you know started junior in uh, in Erie, Pennsylvania. Played five years there and was uh, was passed over in the draft. Uh, I think three or four years. Um, I was actually sitting at my brother's draft, uh, thinking maybe hopefully I could get drafted. But uh, you know, he was drafted to Tampa as well, and uh, you know, I couldn't have been more excited for him. But uh, yeah, three four years went by and. Uh, you know, played my last year junior and uh, ended up uh, signing an AHL contract in uh, in Rockford and uh, you know I was lucky enough to uh, start my pro career there and uh, kind of learn uh, learn how it is to be a pro and uh, you know worked my way uh, over to Hartford in, uh, in New York system and then uh, eventually made my way to Syracuse and you know after uh, five six years finally uh, finally got a shot here in Tampa and uh, you know I've just been trying to make uh, the most of it ever since. What would you tell yourself now to that kid who is in Erie of what this journey would be like and I guess what you learned along the way. Yeah, you know, just uh, just kind of stay patient. Uh, you know, every everyone's journey is different and uh, everyone's, uh, I guess, life is, is just a little bit different than, than the other guys. So um, just stay patient and, you know, if you work hard and if you, uh, you do what the, what the coaches ask and, and play the right way, uh, good things will come and, uh, you know, they, they've I've been lucky enough to uh, get the opportunity here. So, were you always a D-man growing up? Uh, I played forward up until I was uh, 16 years old, and then uh, my my draft year going into the OHL, um, our coach was like, "Hey, I think you'd be a good defenseman. You know, you see the ice pretty well, so I want to try it out." And I did that, and you know, I got drafted to Erie as a defenseman, and I've been a defenseman ever since. So, what's the toughest transition going from forward to defense, and also even being a defenseman, the toughest transition? staying in the NHL because it seems like that and maybe goaltending are the toughest to transition to of, of staying here long term. Yeah probably the, the first thing was trying to skate backwards you know being a forward you didn't really have to do that too much so learning that was probably the, the hardest thing um, and then obviously being a defenseman in the NHL is you know just making sure you're, you're doing the right things and, and you're playing good defensively first and, and protecting your your own end and and trying to trying to help the forward as much as possible so. If there are kids growing up in the area, what would be a piece of advice for them from you about, hey, if you want to be a hockey player growing up, these are the fundamental things you need to learn at a very young age? Uh, probably just work ethic. Um, I'm a big believer in that and making sure you're, whenever you're on the ice or whenever you're in practice or anything like that, just making sure you're doing the, uh, the right things out there, working hard and, and you know you're going to have ups and downs throughout your life and in your in your hockey career and you know you just got to look ahead and look at the the bright the bright days and and you know just uh, try and live in the moment there what has it been like working with Victor Hedman you know Vic's Vic's awesome he's he's going to be one of the best defensemen in the history of the NHL and you know just just seeing him and how he works in practice and you know takes care of his body off the ice and just does the little things right and you know he He's a true professional and, and, you know, just try and emulate some of the things that uh, he does every day. And then when it comes to the locker room, just how is that dynamic between you have the Headmans, the Stamkos, uh, you have the Points who, who have been around a long time, then you have all this fresh, young energy that's coming up. What is that balance and, and where do you fit in and, and, and does it all kind of work together? Uh, I think it balances well. You know, those guys have, have been here a long time. They, they've won two cups, and that's the uh, that's the mindset we have in the locker room. And you know, you get all these new guys coming in and fresh faces, and it's it's expected of the Stanley Cup is is what we want, and that's uh, that's expected. So um, you know, we all come in and we try and do our job. We we all mesh well. It's it's kind of like a big family in there, and and you know we're all we're all excited for uh, what's to come in the next uh, couple months. And then what is it like to play under John Cooper, who will also likely be a Hall of Famer in his own right? Yeah, Coop's uh, Coop's going to be one of the best coaches in the NHL, and um, you know he's he's very calm. He's he kind of has that uh, you know that voice that when you're down or if you're up, it's always kind of level, and it's. Uh, something that you look for in a coach and, and in a leader in a hockey team so you know he's he's done a great job the last I think 10 13 years I'm not, not too sure how long it's been it's been a long time but uh, 
yeah, you know, he's, he's going to be one of the best uh, at, it, at it. And then finally, how tough of a decision was it to go fully bald? Yeah, no, not too hard. Um, <laughs> you know, I didn't really have too much hair the last couple of years, and um, my fiance was just like, you know what, why don't you try it, see how it looks. And, you know, I, I like it ever since. It's, it's easy uh, when you wake up in the morning, you don't got to do anything to your hair and just put a hat on or, you know, just walk out the door. So I think uh, my time getting ready uh, kind of went in half there. Yeah, because I might be on your track here very soon. <laughs> Thank you so much. No I appreciate it.